All right, what is going on guys? We are getting right in today's workout. I already did a couple warm-up sets on this Smith incline machine. Had to adjust my camera and pull it backwards a little bit because otherwise it would have got smashed by this machine. But I already warmed up. We got two plates on each side. We're gonna see how many I can get out of this. I just adjusted the camera, so now we're a little bit in front of the Smith machine, so I kind of looked over and I could see the bar was like going right past the screen, which is a little bit annoying, but oh well. But that's one thing you gotta understand, like if you're filming by yourself, like you're never gonna get perfect angles, you're never gonna get the best whatever. You just gotta work with what you have, and that's not a, it's not a complaint, it's just, you just gotta do the best with whatever, you know, you have available to you. If you have a nice camera, if you have your phone, if you have a, professional mic if you just have a cheap mic like it doesn't matter man like you just gotta grind post content and do the best that you can i didn't end up going to the gym yesterday just because i went to the suns game and i got this jersey actually this pretty cool steve nash jersey it's like a it's like a vintage suns jersey so it's pretty cool it has like these reflective letters but yeah i ended up going to the suns game kd dropped 40 so that was pretty cool I feel like when you go to basketball games in person, it's a little less, I don't know, it doesn't seem like the players are scoring as much on TV. Maybe that's just because like I felt like fairly distracted during the game because there's shit going on in the Jumbotron. And then every time they call a timeout, there's people running on the floor and doing shit. And whereas like if you're at home, all you're doing is like watching the game, you know. It was still pretty cool, but it seemed like KD dropped like a quiet 40. Not like he was like just killing everybody. But I don't know. It was still a good game, it was competitive, the Pacers were in it the whole time. But the Suns came out with the dub. We're hitting a nice little chest day today. I think I want a barbell deadlift at some point this week or barbell RDLs. I don't know man, it's tough. I wanna wanna hit like arms or back tomorrow, but then that's gonna mess with my deadlift. So it's like we'll figure it out, but I do want a deadlift at some point this week. Bro, I had to fart there mid-set, I had to let it rip. I had to do it at the top of the set though, because if I would've done it at the bottom when I was pushing, bro, I may have pushed something else out. All right, set two. Here we go. You know, for the most part, I really do like training by myself. Just because I can go at my own pace, my own tempo. I can come to the gym when I want. I'm not like relying on another person or anything like that. But the only thing I don't like is not being able to get like forced reps sometimes. Like right there, I, I could have kept going for another couple reps. But like, and yeah, like I'm on the Smith machine. So it's safer, like I can just rack it, but just makes it easier to so like if I had a spotter I could really control the negative and they could help on the way back up there's pros and cons of lifting with people four total sets of this exercise and then we'll probably move on to like an incline chest press all right we got two more sets of this I'll probably get show you guys one more set of this and then we'll like I said we'll move on to the next thing come on
Still a little rest pause. 8, 15, 20 seconds here. This is the best thing to do if you're off spotter. Rest pauses. Yeah, man, rest pauses are definitely the best thing to do if you don't have a spotter. Try to get another couple reps after you've completely gassed the tank. Just gives you a second to recover a little bit of energy so you can try to pump another couple reps out, but one more set of that and then we'll move on. We're moving on to this machine chest press. I'm telling you, man, this is every chest day that I have. It's the best for stability, it's the best for force production, it's the best to grow your upper chest. It's just, I don't think there's anything that beats it. Maybe if we had a line down version of this, I might use that a little bit more. Because I know there are some hammer strength machines that you lay down and you can press, but besides that, dude, this one is top tier. So, right now I'm really trying not to arch my back, keep my head all the way back, keep everything pushed back. Because sometimes I feel like I get in this position, which is not the worst position, but then it takes some of the stress off your upper chest. So I'm really trying to focus to keep my body a little bit flatter here. See, I already naturally went like this. Gotta tuck the rib cage under. Solid. Four sets of this total. And then we're gonna move on to a dip machine, I believe. I got three more exercises after this. Dip machine, a chest fly, and one more thing, I'm not too sure yet. All right, let's get this last set here. Dip machine was being used, so we'll try to hop on it after this. So we're moving on to this chest fly. I don't really like machine chest flies as much as cable chest flies because you're not locked into a position. With these machines, you're kind of forced more into a position where the cable, you can move it kind of all around the place and you can adjust it to your shoulders or whatever. It's not the end of the world. A lot of times though, whenever I do incline work, I feel it a lot in the front of my shoulder and that's, that's a given, man. I mean, it's never like you're not gonna feel it there. So my shoulders are definitely taking what seems like a lot of the work right now. So I'm trying to really focus on my chest here on these next couple sets. So let's give this a shot. Make sure to keep the chest nice and tall. Squeeze straight across. set here.
My chest is fried. I have a couple jerseys that I wear from time to time. This is definitely not one that I want to wear again while I'm working out. It's kind of like sticking to me a little bit. Some of my jerseys are a little bit looser fitting. This one's kind of tight, so the fact that I'm like sweaty, it's sticking to my body a little bit more than, than normal. It's a sick jersey. Like this thing's badass. I try to always get like retired players when I get jerseys too. Like I could have got a book jersey or a KD jersey, but book probably won't leave the Suns. And if he does, like it's not that big of a deal. He made a pretty big impact on the team. But like if I wouldn't want to get a KD jersey, that motherfucker's gonna bounce. If you got like a Brooklyn Nets jersey, like you're probably like looking at it like, why do I have this? So I try to stick to retired players because then you can. It's easier to pick a jersey where a player made a bigger impact on. We're gonna do one more set of that and then move on to some seated dips. All right, got this seated dip here. This is like the only machine that one, I have to fucking wear a seatbelt for to help me stay locked in. But two, I'm not the greatest at controlling and I, I do slam the weight a little bit when I use this machine. Which, hey, sometimes, sometimes slinging weight around helps you get stronger, you know? I would say 99% of the time I try to control the weight, but with this man, I am just trying to move it. This is kind of like the best angle I can get to record this set to. This is kind of in a crowded position, so we take what we can get. Right, I got five plates on this and a 25 on. It's pretty fucking heavy, man. I don't think I could do six plates. I mean, I could barely do these five. I can barely do five plates and a 25. Six plates would be pushing it, at least for reps. For reps, I'm saying. It's different to say you're gonna lift something for one and lift something for reps. I don't think I can do six plates for reps. Now comes a big push. Three, two. I'm about damn ready to buy a fucking mouthpiece. I feel like I need to go back and watch these sets of teeth. I'm like squeezing my teeth. I feel like I am. I can't. Once the set's over, like I feel fine, but I don't know. I definitely feel like I'm really on these heavy sets. I'm really biting down. I think it's kind of funny. Sometimes I get looks in here from people. And I think it's because people think I might be somebody because I have a camera out. I don't really think it's that big of a deal, but it seems like in society's eyes, you gotta have some balls to film yourself in public by yourself. Or two, you have to be somebody because if you're somebody, if you are somebody online, then it's easier to just record because that's what you do for a living. Sometimes I get looks from people and they don't know who I am. I feel like they think I am somebody, but really I'm just, a normal, a normal gym goer that's just filming his gym progress. Let's hit this last set. Let's hit this last set and move on. It's fucking heavy ass shit. There we go, we're, my head's somewhere in the shop, man. The only thing I regret about getting this camera is I can't change the lens on it. If I could get a, if I could change the lens and buy one, then I could put a wider lens on and then I could have the camera closer to me. I just don't like having to put my camera like farther away in places where like people either either walking or people are like trying to use machines or whatever. So I feel kind of bad, but. I mean, if somebody wants to use something, they can 
You want to use that? Yeah, go ahead. Here, I'll move this. See, just like that. I don't want my shit to be like in the way of other people. So I wish I had like a wider lens, but it is, it is what it is. Um, yeah, this is last exercise that I got today. Just got one more set of that, and then that's it for the day, man. All right, let's finish this. <laughs> Drop set. Fuck man, that's it. Yeah, that's it, man. Jim's starting to get a little busy. I feel like I'm getting in the way of people, so I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Well, that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to subscribe, all that stuff. Yeah, I will see you in the next video. Peace.